the Barrel Roll News for June 15th, 2012. Yeah. So, here's some news stories that we found. Interesting. Well, yes, let's get into it. Mm -hmm. uh, Valve has deemed hats... They've hired an economist to, to find hats monies and how to charge money for our hats. Don't. Tony's so flabbergasted by this, you can't get a sentence out, so... There's an economist running our hat economy now. On Valve's Team, Team Fortress 2. Fortress 2. I don't understand it, but that's okay. Crazy. Stuff. It makes sense, but it doesn't. Yep. Um, Nintendo wants to put another Zelda game on your 3DS. They just can't decide which one they want to port. Was it, is it a good one? Uh, the, the choices are between A Link to the Past and Majora's Mask. They're so both good. An easy way out and something that everybody would want to see. You viewers at home can decide which one is which. That should be a poll. I'm going to Monday's thing. Oh, there we go. Uh, on, the, on the topic of Zelda creator, Shigeru Miyamoto says he is interested in developing a first-person shooter game based off, not based, but in the, in the line of the Call of Duty type games, the modern war games. It would be great. We think. <laughs> I think it's, yes, give him time, guys. Nintendo, just give him time, he'll make it. <laughs> uh, Diablo 3's Real Money Auction House is now a thing, so all those delays... Hopefully worth it for all you people. For all of you who don't have authenticators, though, you can't use it. But who doesn't have an authenticator? So, remember everybody, before you get mad, you can get the free authenticator app on your Android and i, I devices. iOS. Yes, platform. iOS platform. So, don't get mad, just get one. Find a way, because technically... Or an iPod Touch or something. Yeah, technically, you'll make your money back, folks. So... One way. If, if you're doing it right. Yeah, if you, if you, play, if you play your cards right. Um, in, other, in, in Old Republic news, the, the Star Wars MMO, the developers are looking at making the game free to play because of maybe it's dwindling numbers. They're saying it's because of... Uh, they're, follow, they're following the... Industry the, trend. The, the, the set, everyone else is doing the, the DC online free and then they've got the efforts... Every Never other MMO too. jumped off a bridge. Except you. Except for Rift. Yeah. Rift seems to be doing all right for some reason. Hmm. Maybe do Rift. <laughs> In other weird news, um, Havo Hotel. This isn't quite that weird. It's well, it is kind of weird that it's taken this long for real people to figure this out. What is, What did they figure out? That Havo Hotel is a haven for pedophiles. Oh, shit, I gotta delete my account. I mean, I don't have... Uh, I could have told you that ten years ago. <laughs> what? Either. Okay, yeah, that makes sense to me. Either way, real news places have finally mm. figured out that Havo Hotel is a haven for pedophiles. Free online chat. Haven for pedophiles? We should work for no. these guys. Obviously, we should be working for CNN. Or Yeah, real people. Yeah. Uh, Blizzard has said that StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm is 99% complete. That last percent is a, is a bitch, is according to the developers. Yeah. So, if you're looking for StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm, you gotta wait almost, for that 1%. almost there, it'll be out eventually. It's just that 1% is a bitch. So. Eventually. Um, fail bombs this week. Uh, Silicon Knights, who we've been reporting on for probably the last month on just... Fail thing, after fail. Things after thing after thing. Yeah, fail after yes. fail after fail. What do they do wrong? Uh, they have now reportedly laid off 75% of their 40 staff members. Now, 40, 75 of 40 yeah. means yeah. now They fired 10. 30 folks, There's so they're 10. down to 10 core members of Silicon Knights. That's not a janitorial staff, right? Essentially, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully those janitors know how to make another Eternal Darkness game. Um, another weird Blizzard news, mm -hmm. which is Blizzard this week. Uh, the country of Korea has decided to sue Blizzard because of their server issues in Diablo 3. Again, saying that it's a breach of contract or TOS or something weird that they can't... Either way, if this becomes a thing, Blizzard has just lost a chunk of their money. To an entire country. A country that actually supports you. So, someone figured something out to not make this happen. Yeah. <laughs> because, you know what? Blizzard makes decent games. Yep. So, 
<laughs> Mooney Doos. In movies, uh, the, if you haven't gotten enough Avengers movie I yet, I, I intend to watch it again sometime in the coming future. And perhaps we will, because Marvel and Disney is in talks to make a Avengers director's cut hitting theaters, yes. reportedly showing extra footage, the footage that Joss Whedon would have liked in the to film. To have seen, yes. No. And maybe something else. We don't know. We don't know. It's a director's cut. So. Uh, uh, I imagine sometime this and Christmas Eve. Somewhere. That, 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 I would imagine that would be right in line, along the lines of the, the ten the box set, ten disc box set or whatever. Either way, it's another something. half hour at least of Avengers goodness. So, if you haven't yet seen it, yes, go see it, and then go see it again. again. <laughs> uh, DreamWorks is making a Mr. Peabody and Sherman movie. If you don't know who they are, I feel sorry for your childhood. Also related to that, Stephen Colbert has been cast in the movie. Not as kind of sold. Not as Mr. Peabody or Sherman, who both actually have really good actors attached to them. But still Stephen cool. Colbert involved in this film. Still kind of sold. Excited as moi. I'm already sold. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Head Pike. Okay, so <laughs> in avid viewers of the Game of Thrones series may have noticed a familiar face on the head on pike scene in one of the later, last couple episodes. Uh, they were not wrong because it was the head of President George W. Bush uh, on uh, pike. Oh dear. Uh, I'll leave the common social commentary to you, the political yes. commentary to you guys, mm. to realize why that is probably not a good thing. But, mm -hmm. you know. Will it be in the <laughs> DVD release, Tony? Probably not. No, okay. Probably not. And any subsequent re-airings re of the show, probably not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the RoboCop remake has had, is getting some extra cast members added to it. So, Hugh Laurie, Samuel L. Jackson, and Gary Oldman have been added to the cast and, of this reboot movie. And RoboCop has not even been announced yet. The yes. The actor for, for something Murphy. So, Dr. House, Shaft, and Commissioner Gordon. So, kind of awesome. Yeah. It, so just Gary Oldman needs to just kind of do his role again. Yeah. Pretty much. Done. <laughs> uh, in other TV news, that uh, Toy Story, the rumored TV show, is uh, finally coming to fruition. So, come sometime this, I guess, winter-ish, you will be seeing two 22 minute episodes of the Toy Story series, back to not back to back, but in, in, as far as story goes, they'll be related. On TV as a mini series, I guess. Mini series. A mini like, mini series. Mini mini series. So look for that. Obviously, major cast members to be recast. Yes. Or else it's pretty much not Toy Story. Right. So that's that's it. That's what we found interesting. Come yes. follow us. Up there, 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 there. Watch us. Follow the us. Barrel, the newscast to be up soon, eventually. Yes. After this, we can. You can watch us ramble. The video will be there if you're on our website, which you should be, www.barrelrollnews.com. Follow us at barrelrollnews.com slash backslash Twitter. Uh, the other way around. The other way around. Twitter slash barrel, barrel roll news. news. Facebook slash barrel roll news. And besides, you get extra stuff if you follow us on any social media network that you we're stuff. on. You get stuff. Oh my gosh. You should